So here we have some division questions, and we know that one way to divide is to count up in steps of the divisor until we get to the dividend. But for this first question, it would take us a very long time to count up in steps of 3 until we got to 78. So instead, what we can use is chunking. Starting at 0, we know that 10 times 3 is 30. So instead of jumping 3 each time, we can make one big jump of 10 times 3 to get to 30. But 30 still isn't very close to 78. So what we can do here is make another jump of 10 times 3. So add another 30. And 30 plus 30 is 60. So now we're getting closer to 78. So what we can do is just count on 3 each time. So we have 63, 66, 69, 72, 75, and then we've got to 78. So what we do now is count the number of jumps that we made. We made 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 jumps. So our answer is 26. Now we have 260 divided by 5. Again, it would take us a very long time to count up in steps of 5, so what we can do is make one jump of 10 times 5, so one jump of 50. But 50 still isn't very close to 260, so we can make another jump of 10 times 5 to get to 100, then another to get to 150, another to get to 200, another to get to 250, and now we're close to 260, we just need another 5 to get to 255, and then one more jump takes us to 260. So altogether we've jumped 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, so that's our answer. And finally, we have 144 divided by 4. Rather than counting in steps of 4, we can count in steps of 10 times 4. So the first jump of 10 times 4 takes us to 40, then another 10 lots of 4 will take us to 80, and another 10 lots of 4 will take us to 120. Now if we jumped another 10 lots of 4, that would take us to 160, but that would be too many. So now we just need to count on in 4s. So we have 124, 128, 132, 136, 140, and finally we get to 144. So we counted 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 jumps, so that's our answer. So let's take a closer look at these questions. First, we had 78 divided by 3. First, we made a jump of 10 times 3, so we can show 3 tens. Then, we made another jump of 10 times 3, so we can show another 3 tens. And then we made 6 jumps of 3, so we can show 6 ones on each row. And you can see that altogether we have 26 in each row because we have 2 tens and 6 ones. And if we regrouped these counters, we would have 78. Now we only have 6 tens, but remember we could regroup 10 of these ones to make another 10, and then we would have 8 ones left. Then we had 260 divided by 5. We made 5 jumps of 10 times 5, so we can show 5 tens in each row. And then we made 2 jumps of 5, so we can show 2 ones in each row. And that gives us 52 in each line, or on each row. But if we regrouped the counters that we have here, we would be able to make 260. Because remember, we can regroup 10 tens into 100 and 10 ones 
into a 10. Then we had 144 divided by 4. We made 3 jumps of 10 times 4, so we can show 3 tens in each row. And remember we've got 4 rows because we're dividing by 4. Then we made 6 jumps, so we can show 6 ones in each row, so that there are 36 in each row. And if we regrouped these counters, there would be 144 altogether. But now, let's look at a quicker way to do this, a quicker way to divide by chunking. So first we had 78 divided by 3. We can start in the same way, jumping 10 times 3 to get to 30, then another 10 times 3 to get to 60. But now, you might know that 5 times 3 is 15. So if we jump 5 times 3, we can add 15 to 60, and 60 plus 15, so 60 plus 5 times 3, takes us to 75. And then we just need one more jump to get to our dividend, to get to 78. So that's 10, 20, 25, 26 jumps altogether. Now 260 divided by 5. Here we're doing the same thing. We can jump 10 times 5 to get to 50, another 10 times 5 to get to 100, then another 10 times 5, and another 10 times 5, and then another 10 times 5. So now we've got to 250. But we need to get to 260, so we need 10 more. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, so if we make a jump of 2 times 5, that will take us to 260. So altogether, we've jumped 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 52, so that's our answer. And now, 144 divided by 4. If we make a jump of 10 times 4, that takes us to 40. Another 10 times 4, so another 40, takes us to 80. And another 10 times 4, takes us to 120. Now we know that adding another 10 times 4 would be too many, because that would take us to 160. But you might know that 5 times 4 is 20, and if we add 20 to 120, that takes us to 140. So making a jump of 5 times 4 means that we can add 20 to these numbers on the bottom, because 5 times 4 is 20. So now, from 140, we just need one more jump of 4 to get to 144. So altogether, we've jumped 10, 20, 30, 35, 36. So that's our answer.